I definitely have a very different or unique experience as a surfer in Galapagos because I remember when I got interested in surfing for the first time I was 14 or 15 years old and I was the only one living on the highlands. For me it was like the challenge of, of the whole adventure of taking my bike and going down uh, that took approximately 40 minutes including a bike ride and then a long walk. See lion surf waves here in San Cristobal. So there is a lot of interaction of, of these sea lions with humans living in this island. In the wave when you are uh, surfing, you just see them surfing the same wave sometimes. But when you're just waiting for waves, they come around. Today, for example, I was surfing and I, I felt that something was pulling my leash. And of course it was sea lion. <laughs> And I think, well, they are generally very playful animals and waves are a force that are very nice to play with. Sea lions use that for fun. And the biological meaning would be more like, uh, especially for juveniles, uh, learning to become agile in the ocean so they can become good hunters. Sea lions are not only very close to surfers, but for every single person living in this port. They go into restaurants, they enter shops, they rest on top of fishing boats, and we interact as respectfully with them as we can, because well, they, they were here before. It also gives us a, a lot of value for tourism to have them. Sea lions are the ones that call most the attention of people. Like if there is a finch and a sea lion, sea lions are gonna take all the attention. So they are really, really um, charismatic. And we live here, we see them every day. Of course, we don't have the same impression as tourists might have. But every time we see a visitor getting excited, we re-experience that moment through them. <laughs> 